In this video, I will discuss about transit time ultrasonic flow measurement. This is another type of flow measurement uh, in addition to Doppler effect ultrasonic flow measurement. So transit time ultrasonic flow measurement is based on the principle that effective velocity of the sound in the moving medium is equal to the velocity of the sound in that medium. Suppose that the velocity of the sound ultrasound um, in uh, water medium is 1497 uh, meter per second at 27, 25 degrees centigrade. In addition to that velocity, the velocity of the medium is added uh, for the velocity of that uh, sound in that medium. So it measures the uh, time difference between the transmitting the ultrasonic beam in upstream and downstream across the fluid flow. So this is the typical transducers. Uh, so it consists of a two uh, elements like A and B. So that will emit an ultrasonic waves into the moving medium. So the ultrasonic wave that is reaching from A to B, so that is downstream, will take less time uh, uh, for uh, compared to the ultrasonic wave that is moving from MB to A because the A to B uh, ultrasonic wave uh, in addition to its velocity so the fluid flow velocity will help to move fast whereas the B to A ultrasonic wave pulse is moving against the flow so this can be easily understood by considering simple example uh, there are two persons on the boats on the two banks of the rivers and they are crossing the other banks the person who is crossing from one bank to the other bank of the river in the direction of the flow that is the downstream will take less time compared to the person who is um, going from one bank to other bank against the flow so the equation uh, can be derived so like uh, this is the typical uh, ultrasonic uh, flow measurement that is based on transit time principle so it consists of two transducers like a and b which will emit the ultrasonic waves at an angle alpha into the um, moving fluid so where d is the diameter of the pipe l is the distance between the two elements and v is the velocity of the fluid because we are injecting at an angle alpha so the velocity will become v cos alpha instead of velocity um, v so the downstream time transmit time td equal to l by c plus v cos alpha so in addition to the uh, ultrasonic uh, uh, velocity so the fluid velocity will add so to this pulse whereas the upstream that is moving from b to a so the tu transmit time upstream time equal to l by c minus v cos alpha so because the, ne the negative polarity because this is going against the fluid flow stream the difference in the uh, two times that is transmit time equal to tu minus td finally we will get uh, delta t equal to 2 v l cos alpha by c square minus v square cos square alpha and we will get c square minus v square cos, uh, cos square alpha so by multiplying td into tu so we will get this uh, term as l square by td by tu so where td is the downstream transmit time and tu is upstream upstream transmit time if you submit this equation 2 in the equation 1 finally we will get velocity of the moving fluid equal to l which is the distance between the two elements a and b delta t that is the transit um, time that is the difference between the td and tu by 2 cos alpha angle of uh, injection of uh, ultrasonic wave into the moving medium td into tu so we know that the basic flow rate equation which is given by q equal to area of the uh, cross section so we will get this by using the diameter of the pipe into velocity which we will get uh, in the above equation so this is a simple um, example for calculating the transit time so we have to calculate the transit time uh, by calculating the upstream and downstream uh, transmit time so which is uh, used for ultrasonic flow measurement in a water medium so the velocity of ultrasound in the water is 1497 meter per second and the fluid is moving at a velocity of 1 meter per second in a pipe of diameter d equal to 110 mm at an angle of uh, alpha equal to 45 degrees so we will get because uh, we, have, we, we want l in the equation so we will get from d and angle uh, alpha so we will get l is equal to d by sine alpha so which we will get 155.5 mm and, and then we can submit in this in td and tu we will get uh, these two times in nanosecond you calculate in nanosecond and then finally delta t equal to tu minus td which will get 98 nanosecond generally this ultrasonic 
uh, uh, transit time flow meters are used for pipes of normal bore sizes means uh, diameter of the pipe 75 to 1500 mm and ultrasonic frequencies that are used for liquid flow measurement is 1 to 5 mega h and for gaseous measurement it is 0.2 to 0.5 mega h thank you for watching my video